Hello everyone, my name is Łukasz Woźniak and I'm the designer behind The Witcher Old World, a brand new board game being co-published by Go On Board and CD Projekt Red that is right now being funded on the Kickstarter. Right from the top, I would like to tell you how grateful we are for your support. We knew that the game had a lot of interest, but a number of people backing this surpassed our expectations. So thanks to you, not only we are able to bring this ambitious project to life in a standard and deluxe box, but also we've essentially more than doubled the game contents that you get for free with your pledge. Thank you for all the support you send our way and we still have over a week ahead of us. So today I would like to go over everything that happened on the campaign so far. I will talk about the game contents, stretch goals unlocked and add-ons. I won't be able to break down every single stretch goal since we've managed to go past over 50 of them and that would just take too much time, but I hope that I will be able to give you a good overview and sense of what you're getting. So right from the top we have a place to short information on our page for people who don't want to go through whole campaign. Why back now and not wait for the retail release? So firstly, it's because you are contributing to adding more content to the game and its expansions. And we are going after another stretch goal and we show that right on the top of the campaign. For many people, the second part of that graphic will be even more crucial. There you see that the game will include stretch goals that consist of four expansions. So one is a Kickstarter ex exclusive and all remaining three have a lot of content. So the estimated MSRP for those is 110 euros combined and it may only go up. And the value of the game itself is growing. So altogether, a pledge now is around 50% of the retail prices, not mentioning the exclusive. So that's what you save by pledging now. So first, let's go over the basic game contents. There are two versions of the game, standard and deluxe box. Standard box will be a big box with one layer of plastic insert and the deluxe box is even bigger with two layers. And the list of the components is long, even before we get into the expansions. You have five witchers with all their components. Player boards have been upgraded so you can choose or even write in your witcher name. You have 15 monsters, but with the stretch goals is 24 now. For standard mode, you get a card and a token, and the deluxe box will have a beautifully sculpted mini for each of them. You have well over 300 cards with different use in the game. We have gold tokens, location tokens, a tavern token. There are dice that were upgraded to a more thematic design and a very big game board with a beautiful map. And the Lux box, besides the bigger box, the second insert and 24 miniatures, also gets a closed tavern plastic token and plastic tokens for all Witcher schools. And now for the stretch goal expansions. We call them expansions since they will appear separately in retail sales, except the exclusive one. And you get them for free with your pledge. Wildhand expansion is a box full of contents for solo and cooperative gameplay. It contains four riders, Eredin, Nithral, Imlerith and Karantir. You choose one, take his special card and four special combat cards. It is the, the boss that you have to defeat solo or as a group. You take a round track according to your player count, prepare the game and keep the hounds of the wild hand at hand. Hounds have cards and tokens and there were a lot of people asking for the miniatures for them so we have added them to the stretch goals. With that expansion, you will work together so the turn structure looks differently and that's why you get new help cards. So you will meet to train together, you will try to discuss how to get rid of the hounds as well as the monsters roaming the continent, you will try to avoid the wild hunt on your path and resolve different explorations and events to prepare better for the final fight. That expansion has a big deck of special explorations that add a big story component to the whole experience. 
those explorations and events will also work differently than the regular ones. So you will need to make decisions together, accomplish group quests, and your decisions will affect current gameplay and the final fight. And to keep track of different common quests that players are resolving, that expansion also contains 10 special quest tokens. Each boss has a unique ability activated during the whole game, as well as unique fight abilities. So the final fight will be an exciting event where the whole group needs to give their best in order to win. Wild Hunt is an immersive and challenging expansion that gives the game completely new direction. Second is Monster Train expansion, and it deepens different elements of the basic gameplay itself, and it works with the Wild Hunt as well. The base game is an advanced board game with a lot of mechanical and thematical innovation. At the same time, we worked hard to streamline it and make it easy to take out on the table. That way, you will be able to play The Witcher with experienced gamers and newcomers all the same. Monster Trail consists of game modules that you can add to the game gradually or all at the same time. And each of them adds to the replayability and depth of the game, and many of them are in line with the requests we've been getting from hardcore gamers. Firstly, there is a sex witcher from the school of the Manticore. So another playable witcher with his own components, unique deck and specialty. It alone adds a lot of variability to the game. Secondly, there are special large cards for the monsters. Those are two-sided and used with four special combat cards and 18 weakness tokens. So whenever a new monster appears, a large card with the bestiary is taken out and face-down tokens are placed on the map. As witchers visit different locations, they will learn about the particular monster and prepare better for the fight. So you will read the thematic descriptions and get something extra while preparing for the fight. In the fight, the monster has a new special ability and will use two, three or four special combat cards. And each of these cards is connected with a particular attack that is unique to the monster in the Witcher world. That module enhances the trailing and fighting monsters part of the game. The third mode introduces bombs into the game. These are used similarly to potions but are tougher to brew, prepare. The abilities of bombs are more advanced and are better used by players that familiarize themselves with the standard gameplay. The fourth mode brings a wide variety of special action cards that you shuffle with the main deck. You can add them slowly, again, or all at the same time. There are cards with special costs, special passive ability, new way to create combos or new way to travel. It's a huge addition to your deck building and combo making part of the game. Let's move on to the third expansion that you get for free, which is an adventure pack. It contains 176 adventure cards. So new city and surrounding exploration and new event cards. It also contains 12 adventure tokens to mark some special quests that are part of that expansion. As you may imagine, Adventure Pack adds a lot of replayability and variety when it comes to the story part in the game. And the fourth expansion is a Kickstarter exclusive, a Lost Mount. A horse got lost and it appeared on the roof somewhere. So if you played The Witcher 3, you should be familiar with the concept. And whoever gets there first will get its help in traveling for that turn and the horse will be lost again. We believe that it will not only bring new interesting decisions to the game, but bring back some fond memories for many gamers out there. And we hope to have more content unlocked, but already what you did is massive. We are still listening to your suggestions and work tirelessly to respond to your requests and ideas. Some of them we can add as free stretch goals, others 
can only be introduced as paid add-ons and there are ideas often great ones that are just too big in development and component count to appear in this campaign but we hope that this is only the beginning for our journey let me talk a little bit about the add-ons and wrap this video up so far we have added two add-ons to the campaign first a match requested metal coins in a cloth bag we have shown you our first idea gather your response listen to the community talk with the project red and took another look at the game itself and introduced something that is easier for gameplay and makes thematic sense and that's why we love crowdfunding where we can listen to our community and make things better together that's why metal coin set contains three different designs color patterns that represents the variety of currencies in the vast continent and since we are not sure what was the most popular currency back in the old world and we can be sure that there were multiple currencies around that's why we have decided on three different coins but on the gameplay part each coin is worth one so it will be easy to count and use them in the game 30 coins will be more than enough even for a five player gameplay that's a pretty cool add-on to add to your pledge. Secondly, we have added a big gameplay add-on expansion, Mages. It contains four new playable characters, each with a miniature, a double layer player board with a unique specialty, counters, starting deck and trophies. Also with Mages, we have heard your voice and we have just added fifth mage as a stretch goal that expanded that expansion. So many people pledged for that, that we are able to add more contents by a full set of, for a fifth mage, Philippa Eilhardt. Besides all the character components, mages will have new action cards, since they are not using Witcher combat techniques, but combine different magical spells. And it's not only a difference in the name, but those cards work differently mechanically. You will use energy that you are gathering and spending during the fight. Energy is used to boost some of your cards, so that will require better planning in crafting your deck and making your combos. Besides four, hopefully five, sets of components, there is a full 80 card deck of action cards and a board add-on for when you use both mages and witchers, which you can do. So to sum up, if you were on the fence about pledging, I hope that you see all the benefits of getting it on the campaign. You are helping with stretch goals and getting a great expansion value with your pledge for free. And if you have pledged already, we are truly grateful to every person that committed to this project. You already are part of something big and we truly appreciate your support. Also, remember, you can upgrade your pledge now by 15 euros for metal coins and by 40 euros for mages expansion. You will choose what you want to spend your money on in the pledge manager after the campaign. But pledging now means that we can add more stuff to the game through the unlocked stretch goals. So that's it for today. Thank you for your time and go for details to our Kickstarter page. You will find the link in the description. Bye-bye.